Hey guys, welcome back to BNC RC. Uh, one of my viewers has asked me a couple of times recently to do a video covering my entire collection. And I was thinking, man, I've done that enough times already, but I got looking back, and I haven't done one of those videos since 2017. A lot of stuff has changed since then, a lot of stuff added, nothing went away. Um, being this time of year, with taxes coming due and homeowners insurance having to be paid and a lot of grown-up responsibilities i won't be buying any rigs for a little while so this is probably as good a time as any to do a little refresher on my rc collection let's see if i can remember what half of this shit is there's the kyosho chevelle we all remember that one i just got it there's a tamiya tt01 ferrari in there i'll try to get a good image of it i'm not turning the lighting up or anything that's brand new. I bought it. It was used, but never taken out of the box. I'll probably never run it. That's an old HPI. I'm not sure if that's an RS4 or the very earliest version of the Sprint. I think it's an RS4 Sport, but I'm not positive. The Vitera Chevy drift truck. The Vitera Ford on-road truck. Uh, there's an MRP Ripper ST. Uh, never been run. That is a clone of the Associated T3 Great Truck. That one of my showcase is just a knockoff, but cool looking truck. And I dare you to find one anymore. That's a Basher Racing BZ888 8 scale brushless buggy. That's never been run. My uh, Kyosho Scorpion 2014 re release. There's a bunch of crawler wheels and tires in there and other parts and shit. And then a big pile of junk up on top here. My 2.2 Rock Monster project sits in the middle of that graveyard. There's a Tamiya on-road TT-01 racing truck there with all the aluminum stuff. A couple of Barbie Corvette bodies that I may never use. The Execute XL1 with a Savannah body. The Demon SP4 that needs to be built. Come around here, we still got the G-Made BOM. That's about three quarters built. Needs a body painted. And there's my Bandit drag car project. My ECX Barrage hard body S10 body project. Uh, that little Anglia pan car thing I got not too long ago. And the Bowlink drag vet. Let's go over here and see what we can get into. Uh, let's see, there's a, there's a Tamiya CC01 Land Freeder, Associated CR12 Ford, there's a Traxxas Rustler, with an aluminum, or an energy cage and a whole bunch of aluminum upgrades on it that I've never run since I started building it, I don't even know how many years ago I put that thing together. There's a modern Rustler. It was a used one off eBay with a new body, new wheels and tires on it. That's a very nice vintage rustler. For all you guys who think I don't do tracks of stuff. There's an ECX boost that's never had electric to it. Uh, my WL Toys Wild Truck with a homemade body built by myself. An ECX Ruckus eBay project. Another eBay project, but it ain't really a project because I never did anything but put a body on it. That's an Emax that I bought off eBay. There's a cheap Chinese piece of garbage from Horizon Hobby. It was just something that they added to their stable. I don't even know what it is and don't care what the name is because it's the biggest piece of shit I ever owned. Uh, there's some old Kyosho truck over there in the corner that I got used in a local deal that I've never done anything with. An old associated based oval car with an aluminum late model body that I built many, many, many years ago. That's probably set like that for 20 years. The Tamiya Bruiser clone from Banggood. Uh, there's an associated T2 that I just bought because I got it in my head that I needed to have one. I'm a Typhon 3S, still waiting for that hub to be replaced because I broke it. Still runs fine, it's just the bearing's loose in there and it's going to wreck here if I run it that way. The Lucy Tenacity T. The little C22S ST. Those are both fixed from their recent mayhems. A couple old bodies over there. Uh, there's a Quantum Skull Crusher. I really love that truck. I'm going to have to get that out again one of these days. 
Um, that is an HPI Crawler King. Came with the Jeep body on originally. That is still brand new. That's never been run. I just got to paint that body and trim the posts and do some finishing touches on that. Some old Durango four-wheel drive short course truck that I picked up in the deal with that other Kyosho show thing. Some Radio Shack piece of shit in the box. Some hard-bodied on-road Mercedes thing. I have no idea what that is. Another local deal I picked up somewhere. Ah, uh, Axial SEX-102 Blazer. Traxxas TRX4 Sport. The Ascender Blazer with the fucked up Chevy logos on there because I'm an idiot. My Red Cat Ground Pounder, it's only got about four minutes of runtime on it. Back in that corner is a Red Cat Twister XTG. I really love that truck. I'd really like to find out what they rebranded to make that so I had access to more parts for it. Oh. The Veta Racing Carew, cool truck with the gay name. Sorry, no offense to the Peter Puffers out there. It's okay if you're gay, just don't be gay with me. <laughs> uh, Axial Wraith 1.9. My Red Cat Gen 8 pre-assembled chassis kit with the Colorado body on it, waiting for paint and finishing. That's that SCX-10 that's fully built that I picked up in a local deal. I don't claim much knowledge about that because I didn't build it. There's a brand new Rustler roller with a body and wheels and tires from the very first custom truck I ever built 20 plus years ago. 25 years ago now probably. I'm amazed that that body and wheels and tires are still around. Uh, Team Durango two-wheel drive brushless stadium truck. Can't remember the model. DEST 210. Yep, that's what it is. There's an HPIE Firestorm. I believe that's a special edition Hobby Town version. It's not new, but it's like new. I'm going to keep that around as a roller. It would be in the shelf queen section over there, but there's not room. Uh, the Rage R10. HPI Jump Shot Short Course Truck. It's still waiting for its first beatings. There's an old Traxxas two-wheel drive Stampede that I've had in that state for... A few years now. It's got a brand new body, brand new wheels and tires, but it is a used roller. The Charisma M10DB, I think that is. Pretty cool little brushless buggy that I got cheap a couple years back. HPI Jump Shot Stadium Truck. I believe that's still waiting for its first beating. Uh, there's an arm of granite. There's an old Traxxas two-wheel drive. Slash with Baldini racing tires on all four corners. It's got a brand new white body on it, so it looks nice anyway. There's a little hard body dually from the thrifty store that's going to be a crawler one day. Arm of phase on voltage. Uh, Red Cat. Blackout. Short course. Bone stock. That's for my late model project. It's already got the late model wheels and tires on it. I just haven't built the body for it yet. The Red Cat Blackout Pro. Uh, XBE, I think, is the buggy. Brushless, pretty badass. Couple runs on it. Uh, the Basher Racing BSR Berserker. Eight scale truggy. I don't know if you can see that, how well my camera's working there. The lighting's a little fucked up. That's never been run. That was a thing I had a big stink with Hobby King about, so it took me weeks and weeks to get it. Oh. The RGT Rock Hammer. It's uh, based off of an Everest 10 or the actual AX10, whichever. Pretty cool truck. It's only got a couple of runs on it. My uh, Project Trail Cat. If you've been around my channel for a while, you know about that one. Red Cat Rock Slide. My G Made Sawback Sports with KO Driver. Uh, my Demon SR4A, the Lexan Demon, one of the best crawlers I have in my collection. Team Red Cat MTAE, super badass 8 scale brushless monster truck basher. My Gen 7 Pro with all the shit off the roof. The HPI Adventure, uh, the Vasiltech $85 crawler off eBay that broke 30 seconds into its first run. It's got aluminum knuckles, I never cared to run it again, maybe someday I will. Uh, ECX circuit, ECX circuit with another one of them really old school bodies on it that I painted a hundred fucking years ago, and another ECX circuit. There's three of them on that shelf.
everyone needs three circuits, right? Uh, the Charisma Ford is in the middle of this fucking mess that used to be my work table. Uh, the old school HPI jump shot short course truck. The old school jump shot stadium truck. The old school jump shot monster truck. There's a pair of matching Losi Triple X short course buggies. They're one of my favorite platforms ever. I also have a Brussels short course truck from the same family. That has never had electric put to it yet. But I think it will one day soon because I do have batteries with the right connector on them now. I just, I don't know. I kind of hate to get it dirty. It's pretty cool. I'm not sure they're even still making them. The Thunder Tiger. Uh, EMTA Kaiser. It takes me a minute to think of what some of this shit is. Pretty badass monster truck. It took me a while to get a good run with that. Because uh, it needed thread lock everywhere. It's getting pretty rusty from sitting there. I better do something about that. That might have to come out for a beat in one of these days. This is a Kyosho something from the EZ series. Super cheap. Three quarters assembled in the box. About the most worthless piece of crap I ever saw for a guy with my experience in a hobby. But it might be a cool idea for a kid. Uh, Charisma Coyote. Hey, there's another ECX circuit. I guess I didn't need three. I had to have four. There's an Arma Vortex. Just a Mega, not Brushless. Uh, didn't know if I wanted the orange one or the blue one, so somehow I wound up with one of each. The Kyosho Mad Force Cruiser. It is a pretty cool monster truck. Not the most durable thing in the world, but it is cool. Arma Centon 4x4 Mega. I think they called that a Mega. That's just brush, nothing special. Pretty cheap. Just bought one to try out the Arma 4x4 platform. Oh, Bowlink Eliminator, my first ever RC, the one that started it all. That's not the body that was on it, that's been changed over the years, and the chassis has been rebuilt with computer boards over the years. There's a Tamiya T001 maybe, I can't remember what the chassis is, I bought it used from an auction. Subaru Rally car. There's an Exceed Driftstar with a... HPI Honda RS or 2000, yeah, RS 2000 body, I think they are. Uh, the Sakura S0, I think that is, on road car, it never got finished. It's got a pretty healthy Brussels system in it, it ready to get done. I was actually just working on that here not too long ago. Duratrax Evader DT, Brussels converted with stadium truck wheels and tires on it. It is a wheelie machine. I would give my left nut to find an original Evader DT because it's missing from my Evader collection and I don't want to convert this one back because I think I hacked the cage off of it for something else. There's an Evader. There's another Evader. Um, there's many more Evaders coming. I have another whole shelf of them later. That's an Evader buggy. This is the Evader DT, sort of. They call it the Evader Baja bug. Uh, somehow in my travels I have amassed three of those. They're pretty rare. I think I own half of the known copies in the world nowadays. Uh, someday I might decide to sell one or two of those. I don't really need multiples of something that's supposed to be rare. Hard to convince you how rare it is when there's three sitting side by side on my shelf. There's an old ECX boost that I modified the front shock tower and stuff on. Started to turn it into a dirt modified. Northeast style. There's an Evader buggy that I restored with all blue parts. It's a pretty cool car. Cheap, nothing valuable. It's uh, just one of them weird things that I like. There's an HPI E Firestorm Flux that I bought from Tower Hobby Scratch and Dent with a burnt spur gear. I don't think I ever changed it yet. There's two spurs sitting on top of it. Someday I'll take that out and run it, maybe. Basher Racing, uh, shit. The 222, I think that was. Just a two wheel drive buggy roller that I bought off a guy I used. Uh, it still sits just like I bought it. Quantum Vandal four wheel drive buggy from Hobby King. That's brand new, never been run. Bought it as a roller. I do have the electronics in it now that came out of my Bandit that I just bought recently. I stripped the brush motor and ESC and stuck it right for that car. I haven't assembled it yet, but they're under the body. A Kyosho Rage VE, that's a pretty cool car. I have a brand new body for that around here somewhere, but I want to save it, because someday they won't make it anymore. Oh, let's move on to the next shelf. Another two-wheel drive Traxxas Slash. 
kind of the BNC flagship if I ever finish it with the white OJ body on there. The Charisma Brat. An associated RC10 that I bought used off a guy. If I remember right, that came with another car, but I can't remember what the other car was. I got a pretty good deal on it. Bought it, put it up there, and I never touched it since. There's a Vatera Drift Cop Car. I ain't too sure that that car is not rare now. I bought that used in a hobby shop for 85 bucks or something. I didn't pay much for it. It worked good. I ran it a couple times, and there she sits. There's a Duratraxi Raider I was working on with a custom body, different wheels and tires. Oh, there's a DT cage. I cut it up and put it on there. Another evader. Another evader. That's an old evader. That's a custom evader I put together 15, 20 years ago. And this is one that I built and restored a little more recently. I guess I've had that together for 7 or 8 years now. Probably one of the fastest brushed vehicles you'll ever see. There's a video of it on my channel somewhere. Pretty cool hard body from the thrifty store. Um, there's an ECX Ruckus two-wheel drive with a cool silver auto body on it and tracks a stampede monster jam wheels and tires. There's my brushed Revo. I also have a 6S brushless Revo, but that's over on the bench all torn apart because it blew the rear diff last time I had it out, like three years ago, and I just haven't put it back together yet because I don't care. There's an Arma Fury that I don't remember when I bought it. It's a lot newer than my other Armor Fury. Just sits there. I think it's got one or two runs on it. We'll see high rollers. One in each color. Love those trucks. If they made more colors, I'd have more versions of it. Uh, the Red Neckified Cadillac. And, uh, hmm, I can't remember what that crawler chassis is now. Super cheap one. It was like a $170 chassis from Intigy. The x Real, The x Real crawler. That's what it was. I'm going to get back to that project one of these days, probably sooner than later. Uh, to me, a Dark Impact, white edition. Kind of ironic, but there it is. Down under there is a Red Cat Landslide XTE with a pretty bent chassis because I beat the dog shit out of that a couple few times. Uh, project Low Buck. It's a cheap-ass brushless associated T3. That I built back when uh, URC was going strong. That's Ultimate RC with the Jang for those of you that have been around for a while. My ECX Amp Monster Truck. That I made really a monster truck. It's almost useless, but it looks cool sitting there. Uh, G made Komodo. That's an old body I had from an uh, 8 scale converted stampede that I may reassemble and bring back to life one day. Or that body may go on a crawler. Tracks just slash 4x4. You've all seen that get beat within an inch of its life on my channel. Uh, tracks just Bigfoot 1. To me, a CR01 Rock Soccer. That's a pretty cool little crawler. Axial Yeti. Not an XL, just a 10th scale. Uh, Hellion Dominus. There's the ECX Torment. Project Junkyard. That was my first ever two wheel drive slash. I built completely from spare parts and new parts that I ordered individually. Low C Mini Rally, Low C Mini AT, uh, HSP miniature version of the Everest 10 knockoff thing. Uh, Tracks the Summit, the big boy. Uh, Arma Nero Big Rock, the black one, not that cheap 3S blue one that's out now. Let me come around here so I can get in a little closer. Uh, there's an HPI Blitz project I've been working on forever. Just piece some parts together. I'm not sure that all the parts might even be there now. There's my old <laughs> Everest 10 with the four wheel steer, the new body. It sits there, the cobwebs are growing over it. It's in a pretty sad state of affairs. My actual Wraith Spawn. My SCX 10 Deadbolt. Not a 10 2, that's the original SCX 10. And last but not least is the old school Armor Fury in hot pink because why not? And I think that's about it. That's it for rigs. Uh, this mess over here, I have all these containers full of stainless steel screws and different hardware. Uh, different building materials for my redneck engineering. Uh, spare parts sorted by vehicle and all them bins. Got some wheels and tires and a big fucking mess here. I guess that's it. I'm going to shut up and go in the house where it's warm now.